Aloha, this is Robert from listwithrobert.com. Welcome to my channel and beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a real estate agent and investor from Oahu. I'm pretty sure we all heard that quote from Elon Musk. You get paid in direct proportion to the difficulty of problems you solve. And in today's video, I'm going to be cracking a quote to forever lasting problem whether you should rent or buy a home. It's a huge problem. The huge problem. That is a huge problem. Therefore, I feel like this video should be no longer free and you should definitely pay by smashing that like button, hit subscribe, hit the bell button because that's going to help my YouTube channel to grow and it's going to also tell YouTube algorithm that this video has a value. Don't forget to hit that bell button because that's going to alert you of every single new video I'm going to be dropping to this YouTube channel. Without further ado, let's get started. Hawaii's real estate is very, very expensive. It is one of the most expensive real estate market in the nation. So how much does it cost to buy a home in Hawaii? Let me give you an example. According to Hawaii's Board of Realtors, if you would have bought a three-bedroom home with one bath, you would have to pay on average $762,746. I know, crazy numbers. So let's just look how much we would have to have to be able to rent three bedroom, one bath home over here in Hawaii. And again, according to Honolulu Board of Realtors and their statistics, we would need $2,800 per month to be able to live in three bedroom, one bath home. This of course does not include your utility bill. That comes in separately and averages around $587.79 per month per family. If you're wondering why is it so much, well, Hawaii has the highest rate per kilowatt hour in the whole United States and electricity by itself costs around $300 per month. Now when we know how much we have to pay in rent and we know our utility bill, Let's put it all together. It comes out to $3,387.79. Since I really want to compare equally whether renting or owning a property is better option, let's assume in both case scenario, we have $152,549 in your bank account. Because we decided to rent instead of buying a property, we were able to keep our savings and invest them into stock market. That brings us on annual basis $12,203.92. If we subtract that out of our yearly rental expense of $40,000, we would have to pay out of pocket $28,449.56, which comes out to $2,000. $370.79 per month. Now let's look at the ownership scenario. Because we are buying a property, we need to put 20% down payment, which would be all of our savings. Monthly mortgage payment with 3% interest rate would come out to $2,572 per month. Mortgage payments usually cover two things. It is a principal and interest payment. After one year of ownership of our home, we would cover $11,656 in principal payment and $16,635 in interest payments. Home ownership comes with certain responsibilities and one of them our property taxes. With the house in this price bracket, you can expect to pay $2,450 per year in property taxes. We would have the same cost of utilities as we would be renting, which is 
$587.79. Insurance on this kind of property would run somewhere in the neighborhood of $150 per month. Each home comes with its own problems, therefore we need to account for repairs. There are two kinds of repairs, monthly repairs, usually small items, and CAPEX, which is abbreviation for capital expenditures. Those are bigger items like your roof, your appliances, or any other bigger ticket items. Because we invested our savings as a down payment for a home, we would have to account for $12,203.92 as a lost opportunity cost. All of the expenses sum up to $4,830.94 per month. Case closed, renting is cheaper. End of the video. Why so fast, brah? Just kidding. This is not the end of the video and not the end of our case study. As I mentioned before, we have something called principal down payment. Our yearly principal down payment equals to $11,656.56. Home ownership comes with tax benefits. You can actually claim part of your interest payment and get a tax break. In our case scenario, it would be $6,843.59. All of that assuming that we are in the 22% tax bracket rate. Here comes the shocking part about home ownership in Hawaii. It is called appreciation and according to Honolulu Board of Realtors, and their official statistics for the past 35 years, single family home appreciated on average 4.48% per year. That means that our house would get $34,171.02 appreciation per year. All of our expenses came out to $57,971.28, which represents $4,830.94 per month. Our expenses include mortgage payment, property taxes, insurance, repairs, and opportunity loss. If we think of principal down payment as our saving account because we are increasing our equity in home, we would have to subtract $11,656.56 out of our yearly expenses. Also, we would have to account our tax benefits of $6,843.59. Biggest income item from our property is appreciation. At this time, it would come out to $34,171.02. All subtracted from our yearly expenses, we would come out out of pocket $5,300.11 per year. That would represent our monthly cost of home ownership in Hawaii. Drum roll, please. If you're not from Hawaii or not planning to buy a property in Hawaii, you can easily input your own figures into these case scenarios and compare whether it's better for you to rent or buy. If this video brought any kind of value to you, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, hit the like button. Also, if you can share it with your friends and family, that would be awesome. That's it from me for today. I'll see you next week with a new video. Until then, please stay safe and aloha.